Hello everyone. Myself Ashita Biar, an IT professional and research assistant at Indian Institute of Science. Research work opportunity gave me a great platform to follow my passion in the research field and knowing scientific aspect of yoga asana. Implementing my knowledge in this project not only gave me various technical perspectives, it also provided great insight about muscle recruitment pattern i welcome all of you for my short lecture on science of yogasana it's a great pleasure to share the information about my work on analysis of yogasana through scientific approach many of the fitness practitioners think that doing yoga regularly say for about 45 minutes to an hour can leave immense benefits to their body i completely agree with them however practicing yoga can only be beneficial if the right muscle groups are engaged while performing any yoga asana so this is where my work became highly prominent in understanding the science behind the yoga asana eminent people who poured inputs to my work are dr ramesh debur associate professor at ms ramaya medical college bangalore and dr sn omkar chief research scientist at department of aerospace engineering indian institute of science bangalore Some of you might be familiar with the term hatha yoga comprises of breath body and mind in which we withstand a yoga posture for certain duration involving specific muscle groups my experimental study showed the difference in the muscle activity or muscle behavioral pattern among novice and expert yoga practitioners based on sensor data so how do we go about it all of you might know accelerometers which we call as accs those are the most commonly used sensor in this area because of their versatility portability and ease of use but what happens with acc sensors so acc signal features are used to distinguish between relative motion of body parts for each transformation pose to analyze the smoothness with which the exercise was performed although accs data are effective in differentiating static activities such as sitting and standing from remarkably dynamic movements uh, for example it could be jumping running dancing etc there are limitations in differentiating an active and a passive performance of a movement on the other hand we have surface electromyography that's semg sensors are very sensitive to the uh, muscular activity and thus it actually helps in differentiating the active movement from a passive one so this is a key advantage in using semg sensors so now coming to our experimental study the yogasana chosen name was trikonasana or a triangle pose for comparative analysis based on semg and acc signals from an expert so how did we choose the expert 
the expert chosen as the reference has been practicing yoga for over uh, three decades so after choosing the expert we need to check the repeatability of their muscle activity okay so how do we check that in in that way i think we check the repeatability of our result by taking semg signal data like three times in a month with giving 10 days of interval and uh, every time we took three trials so that we can get the best one out of three so to all to do all this activity we used delsus emg trigno wireless system that was the equipment used for a data collection with smart sensors connected to the pc which also provides emg works software so what what exactly this software does Let, let's see in the coming uh, conversation now let me tell you what is the experimental procedure the entire process of this complete experiment like one each trial what does it consists of okay so the first one is instructing subjects for emg acquisition all subjects who are part of this study has given clear instructions on how data is collected and what is the need of this experiment secondly skin preparation skin preparation is highly essential to get the right impedance between the skin and the sensor to record the, the muscle activation patterns third identification of muscles here identifying the specific muscle group is essential depending on our experiment for placement of sensors to know the right protocol for mounting the sensors on the body please refer to the senium guidelines that's s e n i a m fourth sensor placement sensor placement depends on direction of the muscle flow like it could be upward or downward hence the detailed muscular diagram was taken into consideration that was available in the muscle anatomy book or refer images on google related to this it's widely available otherwise what happens there are high chances of crosstalks between the muscles and likely to get unwanted muscle data if it's in contact with the sensor the fifth one is emg signal acquisition and analysis so emg software helps extensively for the data analysis and graphical representation of the entire muscle activity during the stay of final posture now let's see more about the results and the conclusions in our experiment so firstly we do when we do the experiment we do get raw semg signal that data may not provide substantial results because for the naked eye it contains external noise data you may not able to interpret anything out of it so the obtained data was analyzed in two parts first one is the data analysis and the second one is the statistical analysis raw smg signals were filtered using butterworth sixth order filter to reduce the noise which was then 
followed with the calculation of root mean square that's rms okay so rms value of semg signal represents overall muscle activity and muscular tension for comparing semg signals among different individuals the signals need to be normalized semg signals can be normalized with respect to different parameters such as it could be height weight and neck girth and limb girth but in our experiment we saw weight is one of the parameters which yielded good results in fact it was too great so next coming to the statistical analysis part so here the duration time of the final posture can be varied depending on the project requirement but here we took 20 seconds of hold time which was sufficient for us to observe the muscle activation pattern finding slope was the major thing to prove results mathematically based on values for interpreting the muscle effort applied constant amplitude suggests that individuals maintained the asana in steady and stable state because these are the main characteristics of a correct posture so let let's speak about more on this slope values if the slope is greater than 0 that indicates the amplitude of muscle firing is increasing with time if the slope value is minus 1 or less than 0 it indicates the amplitude of muscle firing is decreasing with time and finally if it is zero indicates that the muscle effort is constant the amplitude in the graph varies from person to person based on how strong or weak the muscle is so for a similar body movement a person with strong muscle generate semg signals with higher amplitude then that of a person with weak muscles mean amplitude of semg was taken to find the percentage of muscle activation while performing trikonasana to the left and to the right side of the body muscle recruitment pertaining to the asana was not stable during the hold of the final posture in novices whereas the muscle was expected to be in active state the expert seems to be able to optimize the muscle recruitment at right time and amplitude this could reflect the learning patterns of the brain in optimizing the muscular activity during yoga keeping in mind the energy conservation principle the stability of the muscle recruitment reflects the ability of the nervous system to sustain a contraction at optimal levels for the duration of asana hence slope of the best fit line is a good metric for monitoring muscle activity during yoga performance this is a valid method for distinguishing novice from expert hence it can be extended for analyzing other asanas as well this project aim to study the mechanics of yoga both from a biomechanical as well as motor control point of view has succeeded in laying 
a foundational framework for future research work in this area. Thank you one and all for listening to my lecture. For more details or more information about this, please contact me via my email address ashita.br at the rate gmail.com. It's A-S-H-I-T-H-A dot B-R at gmail.com. Thank you.